Hi, my name is Belgica and I'm an actress based out of California and I, I've always known that I need to know more about the industry and people in the industry because you can enjoy this career so much better if you are able to contribute to conversations like this when you are around your peers. Um, in college, I studied theater and there were a lot of people who knew so much about plays, about theater in general, musicals and playwrights. And I do know a little bit about that, but I want to do more research. You know, it's not like I don't know anything, but I want to know more about casting directors, filmmakers, producers, writers um, in TV, film, in theater. So today I wanted to start with Carla Hall or Carla Hull. I honestly don't know how she prefers to be referred to because I know she was born in Mexico, but she has lived in the US for a long time. Her dad is of Dutch descent and he lived in LA all of his life. He's always lived in LA uh, as far as I have been able to see. So I don't know if she prefers the Spanish pronunciation or the English pronunciation, but I'll probably say both. I prefer Belgica in Spanish because that's my name. That's what I have always been called. So I try my best to call people what they want to be called. So Carla Hall, maybe, or Carla Hall. I found out about her I'm sure a long time ago, I know I've heard her name before, but when I was doing my own research on Hentified and how to get cast on Hentified, um, I saw her name again and I was wanting to see more about her and who she works with so that I could potentially, you know, send her an audition through whatever way, whether it was through an agent or through a casting website, which I did end up finding out how to do that. Yeah, so I found out about her and I just wanted to learn more. I was very surprised to see that there is not a Wikipedia for her. She's been in the industry for such a long time. Uh, I read some articles and I listened to some podcasts and some interviews with her. And I read a really great article um, that was published recently uh, by the Oscars. And I'll link everything in the description of this video so you guys can go check her out. And I'm also going to link her IMDb in the description so you guys can go see more of her films because I know you've seen some of her work. Um, she was one of the casting directors in Coco, of course, Hentified, and she also worked on Narcos and Narcos Mexico and Nacho Libre, which is one of my all time favorite movies. I can watch that movie like once a year. She's just done a lot and basically, the what I was able to gather from all of these things that I saw online is that she is a very important person to know as far as a casting director, especially for Latinos and Hispanic people, because she specializes or one of the things that she does really well and is known for is for casting uh, Latinx people, Hispanic people, international people. She has big connections with Spain and Mexico and Latino America. So if you are in any other country that speaks Spanish or you are in the US and you are a Latino or Hispanic, I would say you need to know who she is because she's going to be casting you, you know? And even if you are not Latinx or Hispanic, you should still know her, know her because she doesn't only cast, you know, Latinos or people of color. And uh, from the interviews that I saw of her back in like 2013 and even the ones in 2021, she is very adamant about not only casting Latinos for the stereotypes, you know, like the Mexican gangster or the Mexican chola. Um, and in one of the interviews in 2013, she mentioned how a lot of Hollywood would look at Latinx people as brown, as gangster, where of course we're so diverse. I mean, the part of Mexico I'm from, uh, everybody, well, everybody in my family is really tall and light-skinned and a lot of people tend to think of Mexican people, in my experience, a lot of people assume that Mexicans are short. My point in all of this is that Mexico and Latino America is very, very diverse. I am about half Spanish actually, even though I was born in Mexico, I am about half Spanish in my DNA because there are so many Spanish people in my part of Mexico where I was born in Guadalajara, Jalisco, which just gives you an idea, you know, of, of the diversity. So you get my point. Latinx people, Hispanic people, we are very diverse. One of the things she focused on and still focuses on is 
making sure that if there is a Latinx person that is very specifically, you know, from Honduras, that they cast somebody from Honduras, that has an accent from Honduras. If it's a Chicano person, okay, where, what part of Mexico are their parents from? Where in the U.S. are they living? Um, so just casting somebody that is true to the, the text that is written, not just, oh, we need a Latino person for this role. Okay, what do you mean by Latino person? And one of the reasons why I think she is such a great casting director is not only because she is open to, you know, casting the right person for the right role, but she also knows Spanish. So she's really able to audition so many more people, so many more countries. There's so many countries that speak Spanish and English. So it's great to have some a female who has the experience of being in the U.S., has the experience of being in Mexico, who speaks both languages to be able to connect with actors from so many places. And what I was able to find about her family is that her dad and her uncles are Hollywood producers or were Hollywood producers. I wasn't able to find out anything specific about that. And in one of the interviews, she also mentioned that her great grandmother was in the film industry. So, you know, she, growing up, she was always on set here and there. And that's why she started to be in the industry and in the entertainment industry is because of her dad and her uncle. They invited her to work on a project and she was actually one of the first and only uh, Mexican casting agencies. From 2002 to 2007, she had a casting agency in Mexico and there were, you know, people casting there because there's a lot of films that are cast, uh, filmed in Mexico, but uh, there weren't a lot of legit, you know, established, registered casting um, companies there. So she was one of the first and then she felt that that she was outgrowing that market, the Mexican market, because there just wasn't enough work for her. Um, and she really enjoyed working with international actors, actors from all different countries. She does a lot of casting with Spain. Um, I watched a few interviews where she did a tour in Spain where she did workshops to help Spanish actors uh, be able to present themselves better when they are sending auditions to Hollywood. So this was in around 2013 that she did these and she went over there and told them about, hey, when you're sending in a reel or when you're sending in a self-tape audition, make sure it looks like this. And in the US, there's, there's so many things that are being produced and filmed in the US that it's very, very organized. So she taught people in Spain how to present themselves better so they had a better chance of being cast in Hollywood films. So she is very, very much interested in casting people from all over the world to make sure that she's casting the right person for this story that is being shared. And then after that, she came to Hollywood, to the US, and uh, she has a casting company still here. She is working on so many things. One of the things that she's working on that is still in the script stage is uh, Flaming Hot, which is about the story of Hot Cheetos, which I love Hot Cheetos. So that's really fun. Um, I'm excited to see what that becomes. Uh, if you have Netflix and you wanna check out her stuff, of course, Hint the Fight season one, I definitely recommend that. If you're not Latinx or if you are, it's a great show. Selena, the TV series. Narcos, which is Narcos on Hulu? I don't know. I've only seen a few episodes of Narcos. I'm definitely gonna go and watch that. Coco, Coco was amazing, so beautiful and I just love Coco. If you haven't seen it, come on, get it together. Coco was a huge film. It was the first all Latinx cast with that budget that was animated. So, and it won awards. Um, and of course, Carla Hol, Carla Hol was one of the casting directors. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm going to link her IMDb in the description so you guys can go and check out her movies. If you want to learn more about her, I would say watch her movies because that's how you're going to know what she's been working on, what she likes to work on. It was so great to find someone like her because obviously I am a Latina woman. I was born in Mexico, just like her. And it's nice to see that there are people with that much power because of course she has a lot of power. She's a huge casting director. It's nice to see people being responsible and being um, careful with people's identities, you know, not just giving them the stereotypical roles each time. Um, yeah, 
I really, really enjoyed reading about her and I hope that I can find more information about her. If there's any other casting directors that you think we should know of, especially if they are people of color, please let me know because I am, of course, going to continue to do research about casting directors. So this is going to be an ongoing thing because this is very important. Uh, this is a very important part in being an actor, being knowledgeable about who you are auditioning, you know, with so you know their work so you can hold a conversation like I said in my last video, but um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching at the end of every video. I feature another channel. This is today's feature. If you would like to be featured on my next video, make sure to subscribe, like this video and leave me a comment.